This is DIY Mushroom Tech with Chapter 3.3.2. Now you will build the ventilation system for the grow tent. Since this project is multi-layered, I decided to take an unusual approach. I produced this video in a way, that it can also be used as a printout. That means you can use it offline, or even use just print some single pages of it. All the design that are shown can also be downloaded. Hey! My name is Daniel, I am from Germany, and I will be your host. Let's move some air. I will start with the specification for the ventilation system. I will show you afterwards, how the assembly will be done. Then I have video for your and will close after with the bill of materials. Before we start. I did put a lot of work into this lecture series. I hope you enjoy it. Maybe you want to consider to buy me a coffee? There is a serious reason why I ask. In life there is balance everywhere. Summer and winter, day and night, hot and cold, and so on. It's obviously natural, that taking and giving is also a polarity that needs to be in balance. Only when there is balance can we, as humans, achieve harmony and genuine happiness. That means, if you take something for example from the internet, you should also give something back. Please check for yourself if your life is in balance. If you want, you can support me with a donation. That would be great. You could also support any other good project. Send someone a smile, leave somewhere a nice comment, or just be joyous and spread some love. Let us investigate, what is required from a ventilation system? As you see in the pictures, the screw got some signs of oxidation. That means, that inside the fan, there is also a humidity problem. The bearing is already quite noisy and I did not use this fan long time. You can also see the wit spores that build up and blockade the ventilation and damage the function of the bearing. As spores also pose a danger to our health, I created the system as an under pressure system. As we will use the same waterproof fan for in and for exhaust air, the airflow volume should be the same. But then we will throttle the input air with an HEPA filter. That serves the extra purpose of keeping out contamination from out mushrooms. The fan is waterproof, and with IP68 it will also run under water. This is the only cheap and easily sourced fan that is available. Depending on the orientation the fan push air into the grow tent or outside. At the bottom you will install the exhaust output, as all spores and everything will gather there. Mounting will be very easy, because we can use the structure of the Martha. We only need to cut one hole to funnel the air through. Mounting is possible on the side and on the back. I prefer the back mount solution due to better air circulation. I also use an air switch on input stream to direct the air on the top of the Martha. This happens while it is mingled together with the humidity from the humidifier. Here you see the humidifiers, that blows straight up. Air will also go straight up. Thus, you have a very good mixture of fresh air and water that will fill the tent up from top to down. Assembly is straightforward. Just cut one hole into the tent casing and install the fan system. Here you find the specification that guided me on one page. While I used this solution I had not problems whatsoever. You can control the air speed by just turning down the input voltage. In that way, you have a steady airflow that will suit your mushrooms very well. Let us investigate the installation process. Here you see my system directly after setup. Input air is throttled with a HEPA filter. As I use two tents, I need an Y connector for single exhaust that goes out of the building. Here you see the Y connector. I did print it. For printing I used my Ender 5 Pro. For bigger parts I usually use a 0.6mm nozzle. Since I have a long way to cover and need to feed through a wall with a smaller diameter, I added an extra fan in the middle of the way to maintain a good exhaust airflow. Here you see my outside going window. You need to go outside. You cannot just filter and keep exhaust indoor. 
HEPA filter for exhaust will draw moisture and decompose. The blackish parts in the middle is due to my CO2 laser. I use this laser for fun project like creating small GIFs or lasering some pictures. It was one of my first projects I did when I started with DIY stuff. The Cohesion 3D board is also a really good investment and will improve the quality of your laser so much. I do not use the laser within my mushroom routines yet. Maybe I will come up with something. Here I use a GAN and Y connector for mushroom exhaust air and laser exhaust air. I still use simplified 3D for printing. Anyway, I think it is a problem of the older 3D printer. To be able to use the nut, you have to increase the scaling for X and Y. For me, the factor 1.025 did work great. A 3D printer generally is not good in printing precise round shapes. A designed 08mm may result in printed 07,8mm. Shafts and bore diameter also behave differently. Know your equipment. The duration of the printing is very short, when you use a 0.6mm nozzle. I would recommend, that you use the Prusa slicer. I started with S3D and it still runs, so why should I change it? Okay, now we'll have a look at the system with a small video. Let us close with the bill of materials. Here you have a checklist. For printing. There is not much that you need. The Sneo fan is the heart of the ventilation system. It is the only fan that is suited. There is no way around it. Luckily it is quite cheap and easily sourced. Standard HEPA filter for vacuum cleaner. Cheap, easy to get and simple to replace. This is the air hose I did you. You could of course use any. Just adapt your system accordingly. For connecting the adapters onto the fan, I use these screws. 40 millimeters is needed. To connect the fans to your controller, you can use this wire connectors. I prefer using DuPont crimping connectors. They are easy to create, cheap and reliable. 
That was the main part. Next is the question section. Which airflow setting do you use for your mushrooms? Which voltage do you use? How do you regulate your airflow? Please help your community with your insights. In the next lecture, we will build a great humidifier. It will have two units to be failure proof. I hope you will join me on that one. Thank you, for spending your time with me. I hope you like my solution. Try it out for yourself. Happy building. Auf Wiedersehen.